Hello YouTubers! This is my long-range FM radio system that I uh, built myself over the last 20 years that I've been using for picking up low-power FM radio stations, especially college radio stations. I'm a big fan of college radio and stuff. And uh, here's, here's some of the systems I use. Uh, I got two tuners, and I'll show you one of my tuners that I have. It's, uh, the first one I got is a Pioneer. It's a newer model. I bought it in 2000. And uh, the second one is an old 70s era. This is my main tuner. This is the one I use for uh, picking up like skip and low power skip and and other skip that comes from uh, all over the country whenever it arrives, which, which is not that often. And this one is a uh, audio reflex from 1978-79 period. And and then I'll show you the power system I got in the back here of my uh, tuner. In the back of here is my uh, power supply that hooks up to the back of the uh, of the system here to this uh, 300 to 75 ohm adapter and it goes into this uh, power supply which is turned on of course and um, then it goes out to a outside to an outside booster that's located on the antenna and okay and I'll go show it to you right now okay this is my antenna it's a six element Yagi antenna that I uh, that I designed uh, I got the design off the internet for uh, multiple different frequencies from the top end to bottom end frequencies and this particular antenna was cut to uh, 89.3 which is uh, very well suited for uh, low power FM stations like college radio and uh, NPR and, uh, and even a few pirates. I picked up one pirate station on the east coast of the island on 89.1 and uh, over here it's got a little, uh, a little thing here, a little handle that I can t turn with my hand here and that can uh, turn the antenna. And uh, on the top of the antenna is uh, is the booster. The booster is uh, located right in the antenna itself here. I'll zoom in here. Okay, that's uh, the little round thing there. It's uh, that's the where the booster is. It's uh, placed inside what's uh, a cut off end of a pop bottle with a cap on it, and siliconed uh, through a, a 300 to 75 ohm adapter. And uh, the pop bottle is there to keep the uh, the booster itself dry. Uh, apparently, it's waterproof, but uh, sometimes I don't really trust them because I've had uh, I've had a few that got filled up with water and stuff. So since then, I've always put them under uh, under a pop bottle. With, uh, and the siliconed it up there to keep it uh, sealed up from the from the elements in our west coast weather. And so, without any further ado, here we're going to try and uh, tune in some stations here. Okay, we're back inside again. Uh, okay, we'll tune this uh, we'll tune this uh, tuner on here, and we'll uh, see what kind of station we can pick up here. And, uh, This particular tuner I like is uh, I particularly prefer because uh, with this thing here you can tune across the uh, the entire spectrum of the band in just seconds, and uh, which is almost impossible to do with a push button type uh, unless you're automated. But uh, sometimes you miss a lot of stuff when you're uh, doing an automatic search on the uh, on a digital type tuner. So I usually prefer these ones here, and uh, works really great. But anyways, uh, we'll try and. S We'll tune into some uh, stations here and see what we can find. Okay, this is a uh, KUGS 89.3, and that's about located about say 120, 130 miles away from me, and that is, and uh, that's about uh, I live about uh, eight miles uh, north of Port Alberni. That's a town on Vancouver Island, and um, fortunately I can pick up a signal at. Uh, their signal it's about 120 130 miles away and it comes in really good uh, and when the temperature is cold right now it's very warm it's about uh, 8 degrees Celsius outside right now and usually when it gets below zero the KEGS signal comes in very good and, uh, and this other other signal here this is a uh, this is a uh, NPR from uh, I assume it's from Bellingham as well. And there's another call station which unfortunately is uh, off the air at the moment, and that's uh, uh, CJSF 90.1, and that's uh, right next to this station here. 
And unfortunately, we just had a storm a few days ago, and I think their antenna is down. From NPR, and this thing here, this is a magic eye. It's a, a fake one. It's a, just a plastic one with a, a bunch of LEDs behind it. Put it in stereo, and it changes color. As you can see. Okay, folks, we're gonna we're gonna shift the antenna over. We're gonna point the antenna north, and uh, we're gonna see what kind of stations we can pick up on the uh, east coast and uh, the mainland of uh, of uh, BC and Vancouver Island. Okay, we're back outside again, and uh, we're gonna be shifting the antenna over here. We're gonna turn it over to uh, the north. And we're gonna go back inside and see what kind of stations we can pick up. Okay, we're back inside again, and uh, we're gonna see what we can tune in here. There's one particular station that I probably get. And this one comes in really good. It comes in about two pounds on my uh, meter here. And this one's a uh, court, this one is, this is Cortez Community Radio. It's a legitimate station up in, uh, up in Cortez Island. And that's probably about, I say, 50 to 70 miles away approximately. I'm not sure of the exact distance is. But, uh, and then this one comes in really good. This station pumps out about 40 watts, which is quite amazing that I'm able to pick it up at this uh, distance. And for a time, back in 2008-2009, uh, I was able to pick up a, a pirate station on 89.1. And uh, I'm not sure what the status on that station is. It's uh, They've had technical problems as of late, bad audio quality and stuff, so I'm not sure what the, what the status is on that station. Well, that's pretty much it, folks. Uh, if there's any of you out there who want to uh, start their own uh, long-range FM system, probably my best suggestion is to get one of these things here. This is a this is a, a 10 dB or a decibel 10 decibel amplifier. You can buy these at at Walmart, uh, Canadian Tire, or Target, or whatever uh, American stores are out there. And the one I have another one that I use uh, that I'm using on another antenna for my police scanner. And it's a 25 decibel, which has a has a 6 to 12 volt adapter. I think it's somewhere around there, 6 to 12 volts. And I run this up to my antenna with a, under a pot, cut a plastic pot bottle to keep the rain out from getting wet. And and that's pretty much it, folks. Uh, I hope you enjoyed uh, checking out the system here and. Uh, and happy DX, and it's great for uh, great for picking up skip. And I'm hoping uh, in the springtime, when we get better weather, that uh, we can get some good uh, e skip coming in. When uh, I can pick up stations, I picked up stations from Nevada, California, Sacramento. I think I got a, a station from a couple few stations from Los Angeles, and a couple of Las Vegas stations I picked up. But anyways, that's it, folks. We'll see you later.